Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642 and today I've got a little bit of an unexpected unboxing. Yep, I bit the bullet and almost $1300 later I have a new laptop. This is the uh, Apple MacBook Pro Retina. Now long story short, I've been back and forth between PC and Mac. I've owned some older models. Wow, really slurred that up there. Older models. Really was not ex impressed with the experience I had. Um, came back to PC. I've owned a few PCs. Um, still got my Acer Q200e laptop right here, actually. Great computer. Absolutely no complaints. Came home today to find that my desktop, it was an Acer, a pretty nice Acer, actually, that I got from a friend that was moving and just wasn't keeping it. I've been using it for about the last year, almost. Had died. Um... Basically, I really don't know. It's been going out, but I was able to get it on long enough, uh, get all my files for work onto this hard drive, and that was about the end of that. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And I bit the bullet, went to the Apple Store. Now, this isn't the base Pro, but this is the um, base of the Retina. All I need. It really is all I need for what I do. I mean, this is going to be my main computer, but I do still have my uh, side bitch over here, the Asus, which will probably be mostly my school computer. I also do have a Google Chromebook, which literally is for, like, drop kicking down flights of stairs, because that's about all it's useful for. But coming around the packaging, you can see um, this is the Base Pro. Um, $12.99 is the stock price on it. I was able to get a $100 discount as a student, which, thank God, because I was not leaving the house this morning expecting to drop that much money tonight, but I did it. And this isn't like a, oh my God, thank you, Mommy and Daddy, hashtag so blessed video. No, this is a, I worked my ass off to be able to buy the things I want, and that is what I'm going to do. So, two minutes into the video, let's get around the packaging and talk about this MacBook Pro. As you can see, it does have a model of it on the box itself. MacBook Pro down here. I mean, typical, very simple Apple packaging. I mean, I'm very excited to get back into owning a Mac. I really don't know what I'm going to think of it. I know I'll probably enjoy it in the long run. Because I have gone back and forth between Android and iPhone. Well, not really back and forth, actually. Once I got an iPhone, I've been with iPhone. Because when it comes to phones, Apple makes a far superior product. I mean, yeah... Android's one-size-fits-all is kind of great to play around with, but when it comes to actually using and owning the device Apple all the way, it's like Honda versus Kia, really. Um, but coming to the computer, so I really think I will overall enjoy my experience more with a Mac, but maybe I'll do some more videos on that if that's the kind of thing you guys want, because I know this is mainly a car channel, and also, excuse my filthy, filthy desk. But coming along the back, um, specs for this one, it is the... 13-inch high-performance notebook with Retina display. Does have the 2.6 gigahertz dual-core Intel i5 processor. Turbo boost up to 3.1 gigahertz. Um, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of flash storage. Does have the 13.3-inch Retina display. Um, Intel Iris graphics, FaceTime HD camera. Um, two, Thunderbolt, th uh, two Thunderbolt 2 ports. Support for high-speed I.O. and mini display devices, um, SD card slot, headphone port, all that stuff. I mean, you guys know what a MacBook comes with. So let's go ahead and do this moment I've been dreading since I got home. You don't understand. This has been sitting in the box for a while. Go ahead and break the plastic. Pop the cherry on this one. Really disgusting way of putting it, actually. So coming inside of here, this is the most expensive plastic I think I've ever broken. I mean, you guys don't understand. I have bought a car. I have bought and owned a car for two years for the price of this computer. So this is a little odd for me. I mean, the last brand new laptop I bought was a couple years ago. Coming inside. Man, that's some tight packaging. There she is. So as I mentioned, this is the 13.3 inch. I know there's going to be that person that tells me I should have gotten the 15 inch, but... This is good for as much travel as I do. This is the perfect size. Um, I'm not going to do a first boot up, but I will get back to the computer. The thing is cold. It's not sitting on top of my phone. Inside of here, you do have the charger, which looks virtually unchanged from the last Mac that I own. 
Um, this is the newer MagSafe, I think. So uh, I'm ready for this part to break, unless Apple fixed that, but I doubt they did, because I went through about four of these on my last MacBook. 70 bucks a piece. Over here, do have the cable, which will be like for at home, which is probably exactly what it'll be. I'll leave it plugged in under my desk. And then I've got this for travel, which this looks almost identical to my Asus charger down here. I mean, absolutely identical. So there's that over here, designed by Apple in California. And inside of here, you do have Hello right here with all your different stuff. Wow, that really folds out. Right there, you have MacBook Pro. And then you do get two Apple stickers, which of course one of these is going to go on my Honda Civic because I won't be a Honda Civic owner in Richmond, Virginia without one. And ooh, it does come with a little cloth for cleaning the screen. And one thing I just noticed, which maybe this is just me being a noob to Apple, but um, they don't include a remote anymore. My first generation Pro came with a remote, but I'm not even gonna bother ripping the box apart because there's no reason the remote would be under here. Unless the remote is under there, then someone please let me know. But I think those only cost like 20 bucks, so really not that big of a deal, but definitely odd. I was kind of expecting that in the packaging. So moving that over to the side, I'm going to go ahead and move the charger up here. And like I said, I'm not going to do a first boot up and all that. If you guys really want more videos of this thing, I'll do some impressions and stuff like that. So let's go ahead, take the plastic off. Important, please read up. Some kind of shit. Ooh. Oh man, and I mean the first thing I can tell you... This is more substantial feeling than any PC I've ever owned or felt. Like, I've, I missed this little piece of paper towel, literally. And wow. There it is, the 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro. I know this is probably old news to some of you people, but uh, definitely new to me. But as you can see, this thing has such a nice weight to it. And, I mean, I'm the same way with phones. I like a phone that has nice weight to it, so... This is nice. Um, over here, do have the MagSafe charge port. I guess those are the magic wire or whatever they were called. Um, right here, you do have USB headphones, nothing on the back. Then over here, you do have another USB, HDMI, and uh, your card slot. And then nothing along the front. Um, my last Mac was so old, the disk drive was right here. No, this does not have a disk drive. No, I don't care. I, I can't even remember the last time I used a disk drive. But anyways, guys, this has just been an unboxing of my 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro, brand new. As always, thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more. And if you guys really do want more tech videos, I'll be happy to make them. As always, guys, thanks for watching.